1282. So that would have been a would have been a great profit there. But not not gonna not gonna get in this from here. So be back to update this ELX. Hey guys, see yeah, call that out. So you could see this thing dropped. But uh, we should get a should get a bounce going. Look at that might sell all the way down to that uh to that 200 day, like I was telling you guys before. It's going nuts here. <laughs> Yeah, it got close there. No cigar. We got 805. Look at it come right back up. I should have should have got some down there. Anyway, it's just the small size guys, you know, thousand shares. Uh, it's not much. Uh, not much when I guess when you're paper trading, but. Um, this is uh, this is realistically the amount of uh, money I plan to use uh, leverage-wise when when I do start trading hundred thousand. But I I probably will start smaller size, so uh, like everyone else did, I'm not trying to take shortcuts. So I'll probably just start with a uh, hundred shares uh, for when I start out. Anyway, enough bull crap. Might uh, get some more of these ELXs here. Yes, I am. Got 2,000 more there. Might sell off here more to the. It, it actually got real close to the 200 day. We're at 96. That's, a, that's when I'm going to hit it harder. All right, got four thousand more there, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at this, unless we sell off, uh, sell off real hard. But I think we're gonna get some, uh, some bounceage here. So seven thousand shares at eight oh three, and uh, we have uh, stochastics oversold, so this thing uh, should get some sort of bounce going. So anyway, back on pause, be back to update this. Here comes our little bounce, and might look to take mine at 8.15. That's where I'm looking to get out. Looks like the traders, traders are probably trying to short this even more. But like I said, that 200 day moving average came down to 7.94. 200 day on the daily is 796 so we're pretty much uh, bouncing off that right now not much of a bounce but uh, I'll wait it out a bit more so back on pause I put a limit order out there to sell at 815 just to make sure I get hit on that and uh, discipline myself to to get out at my targets and uh, it's not quite getting there might maybe probably should have put it at 14 all right 14s up and they go the 15s got hit on mine and it's continuing on a little bit uh, no 16s went through, but well, couple, couple there. And look at that, man! Look at that bounce. Would have been up like crazy right now. So got a profit now of 34.20 on uh, 48, 48,000 uh, shares traded, and it's just nine, nine, uh, 58. And I'm gonna look to trade maybe a couple more. And call it a day, do some other stuff instead of sitting here. So, back on pause, I'll be back with something else. I was also looking at this uh, COMS, this COMS, 3COM. 
uh, maker of network cards and crap <laughs> who knows what else not sure um, yeah this thing got a nice little bounce too I was looking at it around the lows here if I would have picked up any shares I would have been quite happy with this bounce but you can't can't get them all could only watch uh, watch a couple of stocks at a time well, at least only I can but uh if you guys have uh, trading partners, that always helps. You could have people calling crap out for you. And helping each other out uh, to capitalize on the market. But uh, I'm going to go back on pause and uh, try to find a nice little setup. I just went a thousand shares long on uh, Costco. Uh, it keeps bouncing off this. Uh, it's moving average here. It's 50 day, which is at 79. That's uh, it's basically going to be my stop out. So got a thousand shares. Not such a great uh, entry at 45.84, but the best I could hope for is uh, for for it to stay in this channel. It's trading here, <clears throat> and uh, that it did expecting more of a profit on that move but looks like it's just gonna stay in this channel uh, we are getting oversold but uh, I don't like how how the markets overbought right now so it might get stopped out of this one and yes I am so stop that on that lost uh, about $30 $46 so back down a little bit, 33.74, and uh, it was a disciplined trade right there. Um, thought uh, thought it was gonna stay more in this channel, but it's uh, getting chopped around too much. Uh, I think I'm gonna look at something else as I don't like how this is uh, this is trading um, due to the fact the. I think we're gonna get a down move on the market, and and this is uh this might be looking like a good buy buying opportunity with the stochastics like this and the moving average holding it up. So gonna just take a look at something else. That was a uh, that was a nice setup for a trade. Uh, I was in the profit for for a little bit. I would have probably been better off. Um, Bidding into it at, at around 54.81. If I would have got hit on that, uh, you could have just scalped it and uh, sold it for a 10 cent profit or whatever. Um, everything adds up. So, anyway, back on pause and on to the next one. My video is getting kind of long, so probably just gonna have one more trade in this video and call it a day. It's 10.03. And uh, like I said on the economic calendar, that uh, that news is coming out. Um, wholesale inventories. So the market sold off a little bit on that, but uh, not too sure what that news was, or if it was good or bad. Anyway, on to the next one. All right, back on this R I G L, and just had a just had a big sell off. Uh, came down to the to its 10-day moving average at 23 and got a little bounce um, I only got 2,000 shares uh, I'll probably get more if, if it comes back down uh, to that 10-day but uh, if anything I got a nice little scalp going here it's kind of hit my target which was a uh, which was down by these wicks but this could be a nice target up here at 1255 <coughs> but don't really want to get too greedy um, so just gonna put this on pause for a bit and probably get out get out on these uh, wicks just looking for a little bit more of a pop on the, on the ask side I'm gonna take mine I'm right, gonna take mine here 
as you can see some traders took theirs as well so I'm up uh, 3494 it's a quick little scalp trade I made 120 on there and guys gonna call it a day I traded 54,000 shares right there so that's a decent amount of commissions uh, depending on how you calculate it here here it says I got 270 in commissions so hope you guys enjoyed if you have questions just uh, just message me on YouTube um, shout out to the to those people that uh, that continue watching my videos and support me and I'll see you guys on the next video happy trades hope you're making money